Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at again with another video, and this time it's Destroy PS with 564 rating versus King with 1182 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video. Uh, before I hop in, I just wanted to say that uh, I ordered a new computer, mic, and silent mouse, because you guys complained about the clicking. So I ordered all three of those yesterday. So hopefully by the end of June, those should all be in or about to be in. But uh, you guys are going to see the, the content get better. So, I don't know. With that being said, let's just hop right into it. Uh, so King's going to decide if he didn't want to go first or second. And chooses to go first, both playing 40. Opening hands is Nib, Scarlet, Lord, Valor, Summon Limit. So, he's main decking Summon Limit. Uh, so it's probably pure Eldritch then. Uh, not too sure. This card is not main deck worthy. Uh, we just have two hand traps, and he has Diva, Minstrel, Ash, Tias, Avras. It's gonna use Minstrel effect. Uh, banishes Valor because if he just hits Nib, he goes normal summon Diva, Valor pass. Normal Diva effect. Bring out Prince, Prince and Goons, add Goons, and then add Moon Glacio. Link those two off for Needle Fiber. Doesn't use Effect, and then Summons Moon Glacio uses that effect. Hits Nib and Lord out of hand. Avarice on the 5 engrave. Uh. If he draws a machine extender, really just any extender, because this build does play new, or not, whoa, I can't talk. This build plays two needle fibers, so he can still summon out something like Lapis, which he just drew. So now he can summon it. You can make another needle fiber, and then use that one's effect to bring out 001. Then link those in the Mech and Phantom Beast, use that, bring out tokens, bring out 001. And then bring out the O-Line from deck. Now we get to see which combo he's going for. So he's making the VFD. O-Line, bring out a token, go for Coral, go for Croc, draw two. Draws Pike Tears. Uh, banish, bring back Coral, go for Vermilion, and then make VFD. And then pass this turn, draws Extravagance, so yeah, it's definitely the pure build. Uh, uses VFD, calls Light, and then he was going to get his Valor back too from Minstrel. But he's going to admit defeat there, which is kind of interesting since the pure build is the build that can like play through VFD. Like if he used Extravagance and drew Conquistador, I think he was like possibly still in that. Uh, the opening hand in this game is Valor, Summon Limit, Scarlet, Conquistador, Nib. So this is like exactly what you want to see when you're playing like the pure build. Like I don't know if he's playing like Kree Bandit or anything for like a starter. But, like, this is enough to lock someone down. And then he opened evenly, him, Perm, Dragoons, Minstrel, Twin. So, Twin's gonna be pretty good here. Set 3, pass. Draws Prince. Uh, Minstrel effect. Takes out Valor. And then adds Dragoons. And then summon effect, bring out Prince. And then on summon of Prince. He's just gonna let Prince get summoned. So he doesn't want to conquistador that. Which is kind of interesting because Prince gives you a lot. Like he just got a Dragoons and Moon Glacia off of the one card. Gets rid of those two to make Needle, and then Summon Moon Glacia, Effect, Rip Nib, Attack for 15, Scarlet, Bring Out Lord, 
Nah, neither of those can attack over at Set Imperm, Set Twin Pals, End Phase, Conquistador, Pop Needle, so that way you can't tag out in the Coral, uh, draws Ash, and oh yeah, he gets Valor back from Minstrel. I keep forgetting that. Uh, goes right to End Phase. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. If he was just playing, like, combo build, he would actually be able to do something there. Uh, Scarlet, set Golden Land Forever. Which is... Also kind of weird, I feel like Conquistador is just better there. Uh, battle Phase, attack over Conquistador. And then pass, Conquistador, set Black Awakening. Draws Nib, Black Awakening, bring out Lord. He's definitely further ahead here. And he has all these hand traps, still has a floodgate in the form of summon limit. He's playing the pure build too, so like he can make Gustav Max and stuff. Twin to try to pop the back rows, Golden Land Forever, Negate, Normal Veiler. Make Needle, Moon Glacia, and Needle. Gets hit with Valor. Passes, he draws Lord. Kinda weird they chose to use Valor over Summon Limit. Uh, switch Lord to attack. Uh, he's gonna tag out on the Coral. And then Redeclare, attack over Coral. And then draw one off of it. Draws Nib. Banish Black Awakening, Set Conquistador, and then Pass Play, Draws Ash. So, the Mermail player, it felt like they kind of just lost to himself. Because, like, he Moon Glacier had hit the nib at a hand, made the Needle Fiber, but that, like, it just didn't do anything. Like, it still just lost to Elblish at that point. Draws Cursed. That's going to be a really good draw. Pay 8, feel great. Add Wakero. And then Lord Effect, Descent Imperm, Chains of uh, Lord, get rid of Cursed, bring out Lord. And then Cursed Effect, send Wakero. Uh, kind of interesting that get two walk hero and grave uh, attack for 25 attack for 35 and then main face oh he's gonna get hit with evenly kinda forgot about that um I was gonna say main face 2 he could just go for uh, Gustav Max but now that's not really an option he could have also chain conquistador flip it pop itself so that way it gets off field So he decides to keep Lord. Passes, draws another evenly. Yeah, Mermail just don't do anything at like this point in the game. Evenly him again. Set Dragoons pass. Yeah, that's really, really, really bad. He's gonna admit defeat. And then now we're gonna see Mermail go first once again. The opening hand is Extravagance, Golden Land Forever, Conquistador, Cursed, Reaper. Surprised he kept this in going second. And then this card's interesting. This format, I feel like just a normal hand trap was better. But th I guess this works against like if they go like. Prince, add Minstrel, Minstrel effect, you could like Chain Reaper. And you open Run Totem Pike, Lapis, Goons, one for one. Normal Pike, get rid of Goons. Add Minstrel. And then add Prince with Goons. Minstrel effect, 
get rid of Prince, that way he can make the Toad play. Reveal Needle Fiber, banish two Needle Fiber from his opponent's extra deck. And then he's going to banish Conquistador, because uh, when he Moon Glacias the hand, he doesn't want to hit this, he wants to hit these. Uh, Prince bringing back Goons, make Shark, get rid of Goons, bring out Toad. You must click there. You meant to just special it, not special it over shark, and then he gets goons effect. He could add moon glacia, link these away, toad effect to add back, and then that's five. Yeah, it gets rid of those two to make coral. Uh, toad effect to add back itself. Special out Moon Glacia. Hit Golden Land forever and cursed out of hand. And then Coral bring back Prince. Uh, Prince effect, I think. No. I don't even know what this guy's doing now. Okay, so he's not using Coral Effect. He's doing one for one. I felt like it was kind of wild to use Coral Effect there, because then you kind of just end with no interruptions. Now Coral Effect, bring back Prince. Send Goons, add Heavy Infantry, and then Goons, add Diva. Get rid of those two to make Croc. Croc draw one, draws in the Avarice, and then Avarice draw two. Draws goons and called by. Called by is good. Uh, I can stop like a Lord send. Really, really good versus like a Lord send. Uh, set called by pass. Uh, so that's really interesting. You could have like summoned this in defense also. Uh, Croc is an interruption, and it'll let him get an add. Also, Conquistador's in his hand. Extravagance. Draws Cursed and Ash. Cursed, pay 8, feel great. So the called by is going to be insane here. Uh, Lord effect, target called by, chain called by, banished lord. Uh, set in perm. End phase, conquistador, set scarlet. Uh, croc effect, to send in perm. And then goons add lapis, lapis summon itself. Pass, draws Prince. Uh, and then he's going to get rid of Lapis and Prince to make Needle. Oh, never mind. He's going to make Coral with it. So he has two Corals on board. Uses Coral Effect to Sun Scarlet. And then. Or destroy it. Then he's gonna chain Scarlet, bring out Lord, and then he's gonna get Prince Effect to summon from Grave. Bring out Dragoons. Link in the Cerberus. Normal summon Heavy Infantry, Normal summon Diva. Uh, Diva Effect, Chain Ash, and he can't drop Nib even if he had it because he did Scarlet. So that's another reason why he's like going all in and he's not afraid of noob. Gets rid of Coral and Heavy Infantry to make Savage. Savage equip Coral. And Coral let him draw called by. Uh, Link 4. In the Access Code Talker. That's going to gain 2,000 off of its effect. And then you can just use the effect, destroy Lord, and attack for game. 
since this is 4,000 attack and this is 43. And yeah, so that's going to be game. And he, wait, he said right here, if I pop cursed with talker, can you still send? Uh, yeah, you can. Because it's not activating anything in response to this card's effect activation. It's on a different chain link. But, that was kind of weird. Uh, we saw King over here do the same play twice. To where game 1 and game 2 he made Needle Fiber no effect and then brought out Moon Glacia. Which is kind of weird. Uh, I guess it's like one of the only ways to play around Nib. But, I don't know. I, I said what I said before where like Nib destroys this deck. Uh, Minstrel does stop Nib. If you don't get the Minstrel, you just automatically lose to Nib. And if they have a Hand Trap plus Nib, it's still hard to play through. Uh, I don't think Mermail is the best deck or could be the best deck. It can't play enough Hand Traps. Uh, loses to Hand Traps. It's just, I don't think it's good right now. I mean, obviously, like, decks can combo. Uh, it's not hard to combo this format, a.k.a. Needle Fiber format. Uh... But that's really all. Also, he was playing card uh, card Ghost Reaper. Uh, people have been asking me about this. Do I think it's good? Do I think it's not good? I think it's interesting. Uh, since if you hit Needle Fiber with it, they can still combo sometimes. Uh, just by making Blocker up into the Mechum Phantom Beast. And stuff like that. Uh, but I don't think it's a bad card. I don't, I don't think... It's bad in this deck, like the pure build. Uh, but I wonder what his extra deck's looking like. Oh yeah, look at this weird extra deck. He's playing that uh, hero link too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about it in this build. In this build exactly, just cause like, I feel like he's got a lot of weird cards in the extra deck. But that's gonna be it for the video. Again, new computer and stuff will be in within a couple weeks. Everything will look better. Like, comment, and subscribe to DB Grinder. Signing off.